thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyelids and I'm going to be using Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I'm just going to be applying this all over my eyes with this Elizabeth Mott all over shader brush and I just like to apply it and then buff it out with my finger. I just feel like this is the best method that I personally like to use in order for the primer to be nice and smooth and blend out really, really nice. And then I'm going to be taking some scotch tape and just applying that to the outer V of my eyes. And the first color that I'm going in with is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just applying this shade to set the primer that we use. And this is called Bone. It's just a really nice bone eyeshadow. And it just really helps it set. And then I'm going in with Orange Soda, also by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to be taking this on a Sonia Keshik blending brush and just applying that to the outer V of my eye as well as taking it up into the crease area. I just really wanted something nice and warm as a nice light transition color before we go in with our next color which is a little bit more dark and a little bit more warm. This is Caramel, also another shadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think pretty much all of the shadows that I use in this tutorial are from Anastasia as far as pan shadows. But I'm just taking this color on a MAC 217 brush and applying that right on top of Orange Soda. And I'm just taking that, I guess, just in the outer V and I'm up blending that into the crease. I like to take a little bit at first and then I like to build it up with a second layer because I never know how much I'm really going to want on the outer corners or in the crease area. Now I'm just going to blend those shadows together and I'm taking my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm just literally blending like this entire look is just blending. Um, I think that is just the key to every look honestly is just get yourself like 10 blending brushes <laughs> and then I'm going in with the star of the show and this is actually a cream eyeshadow by pure minerals I actually got such a lovely package from them and these bad boys were in the package and I was so excited and the minute I seen this one I knew I wanted to use it in a tutorial so this is kind of like an olivey color but has gold in it and they're just cream eyeshadows and as you can see they blend out and you can blend them out and they look really nice and matte or you can add more and make them look really really sparkly so I just applied that to my lid with the applicator that it came with and then I'm taking this Nanchi blending brush and I'm just blending out the edges to blend it up into the crease area. We're going to be placing another color on top of that after this but right now we're just blending this one out so I'm just applying that all over. You guys will see it twice here and then I'm going to be taking my blending brush and just blending it out. I do feel like this product was a little bit harder to work with. You just really have to keep blending with this type of product because it is a cream product and as soon as you start blending it out, it will change its kind of texture and everything. As you can see, it looks like I put a black shadow in my eye and I didn't, but I'm going to next. So um, I just blended that out until it looks like I had a nice seamless line. And then I'm taking Noir by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. And I'm just placing that into the outer V and the upper crease just to kind of make it a little bit more dramatic. And since this kind of blended out into like a black gray color, I decided putting a black over it would be the best and will look really nice on it. So I'm just taking that with that same blending brush and I'm just applying that to the crease. And now I'm going to take the same MAC 217 brush with a little bit of caramel and orange soda mixed on it. And I'm just going to buff that into the upper crease as well just to blend out the black shadow a little bit more. And then here I'm going back in with the shadow and I decided that instead of using the applicator I really wanted to use my finger and see how much it came off of it. And I definitely think with these types of shadows or cream shadows I definitely think using your finger is the best method because as you can see it didn't look as sparkly and then when I put my, it on with my finger it came off really glittery and really nice and pretty and opaque. So now I'm going to take this MAC 242 brush and this is just a flat shader brush and I'm going to be kind of 
cut creasing this a little bit not too dramatic but I really wanted the black to be super sharp and there be like a distinct line between the black and then the glitter so I'm just applying that to the outer corners as you can see and I'm just sharpening that up and now I'm going in with this NYX matte liquid liner and I'm just going to align my eyes. Now I feel like putting a liquid liner was a little bit harder over this. I definitely would not recommend using a gel liner. A liquid liner would be the best but I do think that I'm running out of this so that is probably why it was a little bit tougher for me to get a nice sharp line. But I'm just applying that from the inner corner to the outer corner and then I'm going to go ahead and wing that out on the ends and I just flick it a couple of times and then I bring it right back in and connect it to the line that we made. And I'm going to go in with a makeup wipe and clean up all of the fallout that landed on my face. And now for the face I'm starting off with my MAC Fix Plus in order to just kind of hydrate our face. And then I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizer in the Hydrating Formula. And I'm just applying that all over my face with my fingers. And I'm just going to buff that in. And now I'm using my new Makeup Forever HD or Ultra HD foundation. And I believe this is in the color, I cannot even remember. But I do know it's a little bit light. I feel like for me, I could have mixed a darker color in, but it could have been lighting. I'm just placing that to the center of my face and then I'm going in with my very damp beauty blender and I'm going to be buffing that out all over the face. As you can see it really color corrects and it just really makes the skin look nice and smooth and flawless and I have been loving this foundation you guys. It looks so good on the skin. Now I'm going in with my concealer and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade 20 Sand I believe. And I'm just going to be placing that underneath my eyes and then of course everywhere that I want to highlight such as my chin, my jawline, my cupid's bow. I'm going down my nose and then of course my forehead as well. And now I'm just going to take the same beauty blender that I used to buff out my foundation and I'm just going to use it to buff out all of the concealer that we just put on. I love using the Beauty Blender for concealer and for foundation and everything else because it just looks really nice and it blends everything out nice and evenly and I just think it looks really, really good. Next, I'm going to set that concealer. So I'm going in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm taking this e.l.f. Powder Puff thingamajigger and I'm going to be applying that everywhere that I placed concealer to highlight my face. I have been loving this method. It just looks so flawless when you're done with it. And while that is setting, I'm going to contour my face with Anastasia's Contour Kit, and this is the shade Fawn. And I'm taking that on a Real Techniques contour brush, and I'm just going to be buffing that and chiseling out my cheekbones. And then I'm going to start dusting away that leftover setting powder. And I just love this process. I just think it's so much fun putting it on and then taking it right off. So I'm just going to be taking my Crown Duo Fiber. I want to say this is a blush brush, but I could be wrong. I'm just going to dust that off all over my face very lightly because you don't want to disturb the product underneath. Next I'm going in with my Anastasia Banana Powder and I'm just going to add a little bit more highlight underneath my eyes. And I'm taking that on an e.l.f. small tapered brush. Next I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and this Nancy Cosmetics Blush Brush. And I'm just going to be bronzing up my face and I'm just going to place that basically right over where I contoured to make it look nice and bronzy and to add a little bit more color back into my face and then of course I'm going to apply that to my forehead. Next I'm taking my MAC Harmony Blush in this MAC 168 I think it is and I'm just going to be applying that to my cheekbones. Next, I'm going in with these lashes by Salon Perfect. I completely forgot the number of them, but I will have them linked down below for you guys. There's something a little bit different than my usual. And then I'm taking my MAC Giga Black Lash, and I'm just going to be applying that to connect my falsies with my real lashes. 
Now I'm going in with this L'Oreal Smoldering Eye Coal and I'm just going to be placing that in my lower lash line and a little bit on my waterline. And then I'm taking that same black eyeshadow that I used earlier and I'm just going to be buffing that out underneath my eye. And that face is so attractive by the way. I just really wanted this look to be super smoky so I went for a super black liner. Next I'm going to highlight my face and this is Benefit's What's Up Highlighter and I'm just going to be applying that with my finger to the tops of my cheekbones and then I'm actually going to go in with a powder highlighter and this is the Balm's Mary Luminizer with a fan brush. I'm just going to be applying that right on top of that cream highlighter that we just used and just giving us a little bit of a glow. Next I'm going to do my lips and I went for a mauve toned lip. This is my absolute favorite lip combo right now. This is actually a newer brand that I found at Walgreens and this is by Circa and I believe this is called Sienna. Such a gorgeous lip liner. I can't get over it. And then I'm going to go right on top of that with Lancome's Trendy Mauve Lipstick and this combo is my ultimate favorite. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys liked this kind of fall dramatic eye. I am obsessed with it. I think it looks really good. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.